the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian of Ben Sion. Today's daf is Nazir Samach Gimel, number 63. <clears throat> the Gemara here discusses a concept called Tumas Hatom. Tumas Hatom is basically Tuma of a corpse that was under the ground. No one ever knew about it. And it was not visible to people, and somehow it was uncovered later on. So this, this halacha lemesh you know, the Gemara says, <laughs> it's fundamentally different than tuma you do a tuma that's known to at least one person, or it's known to a lot of people, and it has, plays an important nafkamin in our mishnah on samach gilamanal. For example, a nazir who finishes the ziras and he shaved his head, and he finds out that during his period in the ziras that he was supposed to be taught, he came in contact with tuma. Now, if it's tuma you do a, it's so sir. Because we found that retroactively he was Tame. He never finished 30 days of Tara. However, if it's Tumas Hatom, whoever knew, knew about it, and you were a roof on top of it, it doesn't make a difference. If you shaved already, or you're okay. You're okay. You don't have to resume counting your Naziras. Everything is fine. Now, it's hard to understand because it is Tuma Mido Raisa. Right? It is Tuma Mido Raisa. So why are we Makel over here? So it begs, you know, the Gemara tries to give it in sources. The Gemara eventually concludes it's hard to bring it from a pasuk. does not mean that we don't understand the reason. It's just very difficult to ascertain the reason. Now, there's a, the Gemara then has a question on the bottom of the Sanal Gemara and Aleph. <coughs> when a Nazir finds out about Tuma, that he became Tame during his Nazir, but only found out about it, after his Zeus is over, do we go after the idea when he finds out about it, or do we go at when he actually became Tommy? So the Gemara goes back and forth, and the Gemara's Maskana on Sama Gil and Bay is, is really that you go after when you find out about it. So if you find out about it after 30 days, right? According to Belezer, if you find out about 30 days, even though you became Tommy with it on day number 15, we're talking about Tumas at the home over here. Tumas at home, you came, Tuma, you came in contact with it on day 15, you go after your idea. For a lezer, that's significant. Even though you didn't shave yet, you didn't bring any carbonos, nonetheless, according to lezer, if you finish your term of 30 days, it's only Sosur Shav Yamim. If you go after the day when he became Tame, that would, in the 15th day, in the middle of, of the Naziros, you'd have to do a new, new Naziros of 30 days. So we pass and you go after the idea. Now, the art scroll and the rush, they ask the question. They say, I don't understand. The Mishnah, right, says, if he was Gileach, if he shaved his head, right, and it was, it doesn't make, it was Tuma Yidua, right? It was Tuma Yidua that it was known to other people. So it's Soser, and Soser are cold. Soser are 30 days. So you see, you don't go after the Yidia when he knows about it. You go after when he actually became Tommy. He became Tommy in the middle. So he has to, is there a new 30 day in Aziris? So how could the Gomorrah be conclusive and give him a scun over here that you go after the Yidia when you find out about it? Really, you go after when the Tuma happened, when you became Tommy. So, I don't know why they don't give a very simple answer, because obviously, this is an obvious answer, is that the Mishnah is talking about, like it clearly says, Tuma Yidua, but it's known to someone. Tuma Satom is different. It's different, it's Halakha Mishnah, it's different Halakhas that apply to it. Even if you know you walked over a corpse, for Truma you're Tame, for Nazir and Pesach, you're, you're Tame by Tuma Satom. Now, Tuma Satom, <clears throat> obviously, you're, you're Tame, Tuma Satom, in this case, where you shave, and then you found out about it afterwards, that's what I mean. If you found that before, then, like the Mishnah says, you have to go back. <clears throat> now, why should Tumas Atom be different, right, than Tuma Yidua? Tuma Atom goes after when you know about it. Tuma Yidua goes after when you became Tommy. The answer is, just like the words, Tuma Yidua, because it was known to other people. So, the fact that you didn't know about it, you found that about it later, who cares? It was, your status of becoming Tommy was, we can mark you with the status of becoming Tommy when you became Tommy. However, Tuma Satom was never found out by anybody. It's covered from the world, and now you discovered it. So Tuma is, doesn't work like Isra of Hetar and Dine Mamanis. Isra of Hetar and Dine Mamanis are based on facts, right? Did I eat a piece of chaylev? Did I eat a piece of pig? Right? Did I steal someone's money? Right? You can, you can ascertain. You can go to the video camera, see whether you took the guy's pickpocket, the guy's money. Dine Mamanis and Dine Isra of Hetar are based on facts. You want to know the truth. Tuma Vitara, right, just because I touch a dead person, nothing happened to me. You can't, there's nothing on my body that'll tell you that I touch a dead person, right? It's a metaphysical type of halacha. It's not halacha that's related to the physical world. Instead of a is related to the physical world. 
Dinim Mammon, this is related to the physical world. Tuma Batara is related to the metaphysical world. We can't see Tuma and Tara. We may believe we're Tama. We may believe we're Tara. We don't know. Every day nowadays we're all Tame Mace. Do you feel Tame Mace? Do you know what it means to feel Tar? You go to the mikvah, you're Tar. A lot of people go to the mikvah on Fridays, Arab Shabbat. They go, some people go every morning to the mikvah. Do they really become Tar? What does it mean to become Tar? Is it important? So the answer is, is that, yes, in Halacha it's important. Um, for, there are various, there's a whole, say there are Taros, right? One sixth of Shas talks about Taros, about Kutch, about becoming Tar and Tameh. So it is very important, Tuma and Tara. It is very important. Um, but it's, it works fundamentally different, and it works based on the concept of chalos. Chalos means, you know, you're in yeshivas, but it means a status. We, we, there's no way of ascertaining whether someone's tummy or tor, or right? It's based, on, it's based on facts that you come in contact with the tumma, but at the end of the day, there's no way of figure, looking at a person and saying, you're tummy, right? We can say, based on what happened, maybe you are tummy, but we can't prove it. There's no way of proving it. So the only thing you can do is a chazaka. It's an assumption. It's a chalos. It's a status, right? Say if the tumor was known about to the world. So there's a status of tumor in the world. When you touched it, you acquired that status. The reason tumor stone is different is because no one ever knew about it. So if I found out about it after I shaved, after the Naziras, even though I was became in contact with tumor stone, definitely in the middle, in the middle, in the seventh day, the eighth day of my, my Naziras, it doesn't make a difference because you have to have a status of Tuma. The status of Tuma only can take effect when we know about that there's Tumit. If we don't know there's a corpse there, so it's never known to anyone in the world, so the status can only take effect after you shave. After you shave, it's over. You finish your Nazira. So we only apply the status of Tumit to you after you completed your Nazira. But once you, you shaved, according to Lazar, according to Ravana, once you, you, you sprinkled the blood on this back of one of the Karbanos, that's it, your Nazira is over. So we can only apply the status to you, the chazaka, the chalos to you, after your naziris is over. So that's the fundamental difference over there. So therefore, when it comes to Tumas at home, the only time you can apply it is when you have the idea, when you have the knowledge. By Tuma, you do with knowledge. So the status takes effect, right, based on when you became Tumit, because we knew there was Tuma there. We're just ascertaining when you came in contact with it. Once we know that you came in contact with it, so the chazaka, the status of Tuma existed in the world, and now, retroactively, we'll say you were part of that tuma, right? Like the Mishnah's Raglaim Ladava, right? There's a start, there, there, the Chazaka um, works. The Chazaka takes effect because you came in contact with something that was known. Um, and that's really the essence of what the Mishnah says in Tama Kimon and Aleph, right? Where it's talking about Tuma at home. And it says that if you shave and you found out about the Tuma at home, <coughs> while. And, and you, while you were, you, were, you were going to the mikvah, in the, in the Mara, in the cave, for your tuma, right? So there, right, even though we found that out after you shaved, you're tummy because the fact that you're tummy, all we have to do is say, keep the chazaka, keep the chazaka, you're tummy, or remain tummy, right? But we can't take your status as tahor in the middle of your nazir, so you, we don't know that you're tummy. The only time we can give you a status of tuma is now, right? If you're a Tameh already, so we can keep the status with you, keep the Chazaka. But to make a new Chazaka, a new status, we can't do until we find out about it. So if you find out about it afterwards, and he was Tameh at that time, so you can keep the status of Tuma. But if he was, he was Tar, then you can't give him a status until after the Nazirah is over. And that's the explanation why Tuma is fundamentally different. And you go after the idea. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.